So this video is a little late, but we are finally opening the Arceus V-Star Ultra Premium Collection Box. And we're very excited to see what we can pull. Alright guys, so we are finally getting into this like Cameron said, and I'll let y'all take a look. We did take the plastic off, but it is just a really, really cool looking collection box. Especially with how they got this little piece that slides off and kind of the... Man, that is so cool. Guys, we've had this for some time and we just have not opened it. Alright, well, that's not very good. That's just kind of hanging out there, but they're metal. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, very, very cool. I thought they were just the same promos as like, what, or I say promos. I but forgot like the, they were metal. When I picked them up, I was like, oh, these are very heavy. <laughs> but wow. yeah. Fits very nicely into the sleeve. Yep. So I, I assume you still sleeve the metal cards, I would, right? I would think at least for now until we decide if we're going to, you know, want to display them some other way. But yeah, it's really cool to see these in... A metal form. Yeah. Hmm. Did not know that. Read the whole back of the box and everything. <laughs> I guess never picked up on the fact that they're metal. So I think this is just kind of a little box that has maybe the dice and stuff in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got our, our V-Star marker. We do have a really cool coin here. Let me get that out of the plastic so you can actually see it a little bit better. Very nice coin and some very heavy dice. <laughs> Let's see, I think before we get into everything, we got one last thing here. And that oh, is we get a play mat? Another play mat. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to roll that back up in just a minute. So this is a lot like the Charizard one then. It is. I'm gonna just put this to the side and then we'll take care of getting that rolled back up in a few minutes. So let's see here. We have 15 packs and I'm gonna do a few and Cameron's gonna do a few. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the Lost Origin first. Oh, well, sorry guys. Wasn't trying to spoil that, but um, you saw that was a white one, but we can get something in the trainer gallery. So, all hope is not lost. <laughs> Lake Acuity, Porygon 2, Isuian Growlithe, Shellos, we got Shuffet with a tongue slap, Horsey, Lickitung, we have a Reverse Parasect, and a Mimikyu. I'm gonna kinda alternate stacks. <laughs> Is it the same thing in both of them? Or? It may be. That might help, uh, I guess, leave the one for you to open. I doubt it, because I think some of them are uneven. That's true. I want to say there's th like three vivid voltage. Could be wrong on that. We'll have to see. I think based on what it said on the back of the box, you're right. So we have another Lost Origin pack. Bronzor. Phalanx. Poliwag. Oddish. Another Hisuian Growlithe, a Reverse Dugong, and a Hoopa. So nothing from the first two packs. I wonder what people's pull rates were like for this compared to the Charizard UPC. I know the Charizard UPC, that was the one... Oh, I'm sorry guys, again. That was the one thing I, I feel like you heard more complaints about, is like considering the packs that were in there, nobody seemed to... Nobody seemed to be getting good hits from it. No, and there were so many packs. You were like, how in the world are you not getting good hits? Phalanx. Another Bronzor. <laughs> Makuhita. Jinx. Obama Snow. And a Hisuian Gudra V-Star. So I finally got something to add to the sleeve club from packs. This will be our last Lost Origin. There is the code. It's weird. Two of the packs had the code the wrong way, and the others didn't, so I'm not really sure why 
that was the case. We got a wind up arm, Machop, Pikachu, Jinx, Litwick, Oddish, a reverse A Palm. Okay. Well, we'll just move on to Astral Radiance then. He's better off to be forgotten. We're not gonna talk about it. Not gonna talk about it. Well, you don't have a personal vendetta against him. No, that's true. I don't. That's more me. It is, but I'm just kinda, you know, continuing the vendetta that you have with him, I guess. <laughs> so, oh, hot dog man. Magnemite. Rocks, Reverse Hoot Hoot, and a Hisuian Lilligant Hollow. Oh, at least finally another Sleeve Club member. It's a little slow. It's a little slow getting started, but maybe we can turn it around. I, Lost Origin would have been a great pack oh. to turn it around on. It's Sorry. fine. It got, don't worry about it. I can't keep you up with it. You put too much stress on yourself with code cards facing the wrong way. I know. I, mean, I, I really think we do. know they're not always accurate, too. No, they're not. And with these sets, you know, you do have a lot more options as far as getting stuff in that trainer gallery or reverse slot. Like, like that. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> and a Hisui Braviary. But we don't have this card, I'm pretty sure. No, and that's one of my favorite trainer gallery cards. See, look at that, on a white code card. I know. That is a really cool card. So no more freakouts about white code cards. That goes for you. It's just funny that the same set, they're kind of all mixed up. Well, I think with these boxes, sometimes I think they just pull packs or like they, you know, get grab like a new print run. And you see that more often, I feel like, where code cards are just facing different ways. There's no real way to know what way it's going to face. Because I think this has been like 50-50, really. Mm -hmm. We got a Celine and a oh, Beedrill. Nice. Full art. Yeah. I like that one a lot, too. That's really cool. The full art sometimes are some of my favorite cards. All right, so I think this is probably gonna be my last pack and then Cameron is gonna hop in and do some Brilliant Stars and Vivid Voltage. Mm, 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 mm. You know, I wonder, were the code cards that were facing the wrong way, were they all from one side? Because I've noticed it seems like every other pack is the, is the right way. They might've been, and I'll be honest, a couple of the packs specifically from Astral actually had almost a weird, like the cards even felt a little bit different. So I don't know. If it was just like you said, completely different print run. So I have a reverse Hisuian Decidui and a Feeble that stole my good pull from that pack. All right, guys, this is what we have left. We've got Brilliant Stars. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, so it's not it's not all Vivid Voltage. I thought it was based on the box, but. Uh, maybe I did too. Maybe I just saw that corner and just a sent. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're going Vivid Voltage, and then we can let them discuss amongst themselves Who which way. Who wants to go first? Right. All right. Wow. That's a nice surprise. All right. Well, here's a Vivid Voltage pack. Not sure which way that's going to face, and look at that. It was the right way for once. So let's do our four to the front. You guys know the deal with this one. You've got a Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX, and then Allie's favorite... The pink and purple Pikachu V full art, which we still have not pulled. Either one of those would be quite lovely. Electrike, Nuzleaf, Reverse, oh! <laughs> Rainbow Rare, Colossal, V Max. Wow. I don't think we have that. I can't remember. We're going to have to go I pull out. I don't think so. Very, very awesome card. Wow. Man. <laughs> well, this actually is already better, I think, than the. Um, Charizard UPC. Minus, of course, the promos of the Charizard UPC. I'm, I'm doing evolving. Oh, okay. I thought about not doing it, and something told me. I don't know. I always save evolving for last, and then we end up getting disappointed. Yeah, and something this time just told me. Here's what we're gonna do. There, 
is an upside down code card. It's the right way now. Come on, let's see what we've got. Energy of the grass variety. Skip Loom, Ray Han, Ribbon Bay, Slack Off Hanging Off the Edge of a Cliff, Flabebe, Carvana, Dweeble on a Beach, Mareep, Cutie Fly Reverse, and an Ampharos. How many times? How and many times? That was where, you know, I, something just told me. Like, uh, you might not want to save that for last. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's see what we've got. Oh. It's a black. That's a good sign. It's a black border. These are the newer print run of this, too. Which they say is not a good thing. No. Actually, they claim the pull rates for the new print run of Love Evolve. Oh, there's your favorite car. Shopping center. Yes. It's one of my best. My, you know, We're probably going to go there tomorrow things. to finish Christmas shopping. Pop it. Heeds Mon Chen, Fletchling, Tentacle, Crustle, Reverse, and. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Joe Tion Nice! Very nice. We got an Evolution, and believe it or not, I think it may be one we don't have. I can't remember if we do or not. Very, very cool. I actually am a big fan of Jolteon. Me too. I know some people, well, everybody usually prefers Umbreon. But I like the original three as well. Oh, so we've got two Arceus packs. Very appropriate. I don't know. I might save one of those for last. Just because it is the Arceus box. We'll have to see. Well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a black code card. It's a good so sign. that means the pulls are coming this way. What type of pull? I don't know. Usually for us, that means a hollow professor's research is what that means. Usually. Sigilyph, Chimeco, Chimchar, Minchino, Ball Toy, Snorunt, Freshwater Set Reverse. Always a nice, nice, refreshing reverse hollow to keep on hand. And... <laughs> I mean, it's not Professor's Almost, Research, right? but it's basically the same. Almost. Basically. I feel like I kind of called that. You did. You did. I mean, it was a hollow trainer. I don't know what to do. I'm going this one. We'll do, we'll do Charizard and then Arceus last. Let's see. Oh, oh it's, a white it's a white. It's a white. Because I separated these out, I'm not sure what side they came from. But I still, I feel like the orders just seem to be very different for some reason. Like which ones? Choice! Belt! Staravia. Like which ones had the cards? Yeah, I wonder if, it, if they all came from one side now that we've done it more. Grimer reaching for some sludgy grass. I still don't know what's going on in that card. Shinks playing with its tail. Electivire reverse. And a Haxorus non hollow. I would always normally save Charizard for last. I know, but you're feeling like with this being an Arceus box. Kind of. Yeah, even though technically my favorite Pokemon is Charizard. Oh, look, see, that one's not, that was the code card was the right way. It is. I thought about spoiling it again. Guys, I'm, I'm <laughs> spoiler warning on this video. Apparently, I just want to show everything. Torkoal, Roseanne's backup, which I always say this looks like a recipe or something. Know, it, it's They're just really, listing out everything. Really Provo Pass, Gibble, Trapinch, Execute, Starly, Shroomish. I'm about to spoil Marnie's Pride Reverse and. A Whimsicott V. Look at Very that. Very nice. Fluff gets in the way. Very true. You think that's coming from Whimsicott? Is that a Whimsicott statement? Probably. It's like, watch out, my fluff gets in the way. <laughs> Everybody, I'm coming. <laughs> my fluff gets in the way. <laughs> my fluff arrives before I do. That's right. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the final code card. It is facing the right way. Do we have one more surprise left in store for this box? I gotta say, I like this box. Mm -hmm. I would open up another one. 
if they all had pulls like this. Acerola's Premonition, Provo Pass again, Shroomish again, Purloin, a Sneasel, Duskull looking very perplexed. Oh, guys, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling. Core fish, you guys look like a road. Oh no, it's a oh, Jolteon. Nice. Wow. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, Jolteon been a while Trainer Gallery. That. Very good. Jolteon. Yeah. yeah. And our final card, here we go, is going to be. Oh. Torterra Hollow. Torterra Hollow. Not bad. No, it's not. I like that. That was a, that was a fun opening. I like the pack variety. Mm -hmm. I would do it again strictly for the pack variety. It's kind of neat to kind of just open up different And I mean, sets. seriously, like, check out, I mean, the trainer galleries with that, that, very cool. The Rainbow Rare Colossal V-Max. The Full Art B-Drill. Yeah. And then, of course, the two metal cards. They're pretty cool. Nice. I like it. I like it. And then this guy right here. Him. Him. Nobody really cares for him, but... He's here, he has a place on the channel, I guess. Well guys, I hope you liked the video. Again, hope you liked that opening. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can use our code POKEYSTORM5 on Paladin cards to get 5% off your first order. Hope you guys have a great weekend.